respected audience assalamu alaikum i am professor shams juman professor of pathology i welcome all in today's 18th lecture on systemic pathology today day 2 of diseases of gall bladder day 2 of diseases of gall bladder dear audience in the one of diseases of gall bladder i have discussed briefly about the cholelithiasis today's topic is cholecystitis this is the gall bladder what is cholecystitis inflammation of gall bladder is known as cholecystitis inflammation of gall bladder is known as cholecystitis there are these inflammation of gall bladder is known as cholecystitis now come to types of cholecystitis is acute cholecystitis and chronic cholecystitis cholecystitis may be acute cholecystitis and chronic cholecystitis now come to acute cholecystitis dear audience acute inflammation of gall bladder is known as acute cholecystitis acute inflammation of gall bladder is known as acute cholecystitis when the gall bladder is acutely inflamed it is called acute cholecystitis acute cholecystitis is less common than chronic cholecystitis it is less common then chronic cholecystitis there are days in most of the cases acute cholecystitis is following cholelithiasis in most of the cases acute cholecystitis is following cholelithiasis it means if anybody suffers from cholelithiasis due to cholelithiasis there is chance of acute cholecystitis dear audience now come to morphology of the gall bladder in acute cholecystitis morphology of gall bladder in acute cholecystitis gross examination reveals distended gall bladder distended gall bladder if this is the normal gall bladder like this 
if it is acutely inflamed, the gallbladder is distended. This is acute cholecystitis. Dear audience, swelling is a cardinal sign of acute inflammation. When there is acute inflammation of gallbladder, there is swelling of the gallbladder. Why? And the gallbladder will become distended. Along with distension of the gallbladder, grossly there is loss of shininess. Loss of shininess. So grossly distended gallbladder and loss of shininess in case of acute cholecystitis. Dear audience, along with distended gallbladder and loss of shininess, sometimes gallbladder is gangrenous and sometimes there is accumulation of pus in the gallbladder. Along with distended gallbladder and loss of shininess, sometimes gangrenous gallbladder. Sometimes accumulation of pus in gallbladder and this is known as empyema gallbladder. Accumulation of pus pus in gallbladder and this is known as empyema gallbladder. Dear audience, we know there are some morphological pattern of acute inflammation. Acute inflammation may be fibrinous type, may be cathedral type, may be gangrenous type, may be pseudomembranous type, may be saccuditive type. This is the gangrenous type of acute inflammation in gallbladder. This is the saccuditive type of acute inflammation in gallbladder. Now come to histopathology of acute cholecystitis. Histopathology reveals acute inflammatory cell infiltration in the wall of the gallbladder. Acute inflammatory cell that is the polymorph infiltration in wall of gallbladder. This is the histopathology. Dear audience, suppose this is the wall of gallbladder. This is the lining columnar cell of the gallbladder. In the wall, there is infiltration of polymorph, that is acute inflammatory cell infiltration. This is the histopathology of acute cholecystitis. And these are the polymorph. Dear audience, this is all about the acute cholecystitis. Briefly, now come to chronic cholecystitis. I have told you chronic cholecystitis is common than acute cholecystitis. Now come to what are the causes of chronic cholecystitis. Causes of chronic cholecystitis.
important cause of chronic cholecystitis is gallstone that is cholelithiasis gallstone dear audience if this is the gallbladder suppose these are the stones in the gallbladder due to presence of gallstone in the lumen of the gallbladder there is friction due to friction there is inflammation and due to sustained friction there is chronic inflammation there is chronic cholecystitis another cause of chronic cholecystitis is repeated bouts of acute cholecystitis dear audience we know there are many causes of chronic inflammation one of the cause of chronic inflammation is repeated bout of acute inflammation if there is repeated bout of acute cholecystitis it may turn to chronic cholecystitis dear audience now come to morphology of gallbladder in chronic cholecystitis morphology of gallbladder in chronic cholecystitis first come to gross examination gross examination reveals fibrosed and contracted gallbladder dear audience as chronic inflammation is associated with fibrosis so in case of chronic cholecystitis there is fibrosis in the wall of the gallbladder and due to fibrosis there is contraction so the gallbladder is fibrous and contracted in chronic cholecystitis if this is the normal gallbladder and if this is the chronically inflamed gallbladder this is fibrous and contracted in chronic cholecystitis if we cut the gallbladder what will the findings in chronic cholecystitis cut section reveals thick wall of gallbladder and lumen of gallbladder reveal one or more stones lumen of gallbladder reveals one or more stones so if we cut the gallbladder in case of chronic cholecystitis we get thick wall of the gallbladder and usually one or more stones in lumen of the gallbladder histopathology of chronically inflamed gallbladder reveals sub epithelial infiltration of chronic inflammatory cells sub epithelial infiltration of chronic inflammatory cells like lymphocyte macrophage 
plasma cell subepithelial infiltration of chronic inflammatory cells like lymphocyte macrophage plasma cell in addition to infiltration of chronic inflammatory cells there is area of fibrosis area of fibrosis in one of gallbladder dear audience sometimes there is area of squamous metaplasia sometimes area of squamous metaplasia dear audience you know gallbladder mucosa is lined by columnar epithelium due to presence of gallstone for long time the columnar cell is replaced by squamous epithelium and this is called squamous metaplasia if due to presence of gallstone there is squamous metaplasia in that case we can get area of squamous metaplasia so histopathology reveals sub epithelial infiltration of lymphocyte macrophage plasma cell area of fibrosis in wall of gallbladder and sometimes area of squamous metaplasia dear audience suppose this is the wall of gallbladder this is the lining epithelium of gallbladder and the cells are columnar epithelium and this may be the squamous epithelium where there is squamous metaplasia this is squamous metaplasia this is the area of fibrosis area of fibrosis these are the chronic inflammatory cell infiltration these are lymphocytes sub epithelial infiltration of lymphocytes along with this there may be macrophage there may be plasma cell also so this is the histopathological findings of chronic cholecystitis dear audiences i have narrated briefly about acute cholecystitis it is less common than chronic cholecystitis usually it is following gallstones grossly Equally inflamed gallbladder is distended with loss of shininess, and sometimes the gallbladder is gangrenous, or gallbladder is filled with pus. It is called empyema gallbladder. Histopathology reveals acute inflammatory cell infiltrations, that is polymorph infiltrations in the wall of the gallbladder. Chronic cholecystitis causes gallstone or repeated bout of acute cholecystitis. Grossly. it is fibrous and contracted cut section reveals thick wall with usually one or more stones in the lumen of the gallbladder histopathology reveals sub epithelial infiltration of chronic inflammatory cell like lymphocyte macrophage plasma cell sometimes area of fibrosis and area of squamous metaplasia dear audience now come to two terms one is porcelain gallbladder and cholecystitis glandularis porcelain gallbladder for 
what do you mean about porcelain gallbladder? Dear audience, in chronic cholecystitis, sometimes there is dystrophic calcification in the wall of the gallbladder. As there is dystrophic calcification in the wall of the gallbladder, the gallbladder will become hard and this is known as porcelain gallbladder. Sometimes in chronic cholecystitis, there is dystrophic calcification in wall of gallbladder. Due to calcification, due to calcification, the gallbladder wall becomes hard. This is called porcelain gallbladder. This is called porcelain gallbladder. Dear audience, if this is the gallbladder like this, and this is the wall of the gallbladder, if there is dystrophic calcification in the wall, in chronic cholecystitis, the wall become very hard. The wall become very hard due to calcification and this is known as porcelain gallbladder. Dear audience, now come to another term, cholecystitis glandularis. What do you mean about cholecystitis glandularis? Dear audience, sometimes in chronic cholecystitis, inflammatory proliferation of mucosa and fusion of mucosal fold produces creeps and that creeps are buried in the wall of the gallbladder. This is known as cholecystitis glandularis. Sometimes in chronic cholecystitis due to inflammatory proliferation of mucosa with fusion of mucosal folds produces creeps and these creeps are buried in the wall of the gallbladder. These, these creeps are buried in wall of gallbladder. This is known as cholecystitis glandularis. Dear audience, suppose this is the gallbladder one. This is the columnar lining epithelium of gallbladder. Sometimes, due to inflammation, there is proliferation of the mucosa.
This is the proliferation of mucus cell, and there is fusion of the mucus cell folds, and that produces crypts, and the crypts and the crypts are buried in the wall of the gallbladder. This is wall of the gallbladder and this is the inflammatory proliferation mucosa and fusion of the mucosal folds here and formation of the crypts within the wall. This is known as cholecystitis glandularis. Again, in chronic inflammation, sometimes there is inflammatory proliferation of the mucosa and fusion of the mucosal folds and formation of the crypts and that crypt is buried in the wall of the gallbladder. This is known as cholecystitis glandularis. Dear audience, today I have briefly discussed about the acute cholecystitis and chronic cholecystitis. Today after this, thanks all.